yeah, it's the BMW. Guys, here it is. 2016 BMW S1000 RR Sport with a performance pack. Now guys, I'm not going to tell you anything about this bike because you should already know about this bike but I will tell you something. It's quick. Okay, so what I am going to talk to you about is if you are looking to buy one of these, you should. Okay, simple as that. If you're looking to be able to ride something that goes quicker than you can actually think, then you should buy one of these. If you're looking for a bike that's able to stop on a sixpence, I don't think that's an actual saying, but then this is the bike. If you're looking for a bike that's going to get you laid, then this is the bike. Okay? And it's pretty much as simple as that. Now, I haven't ridden any other sports bikes, okay? Because I know, obviously, the Honda CBR 1000's got a really big following, even though that bike is ancient now. I don't know how Honda have got away without, with, without you know, bringing that bike up to date. You've got the Kawasaki, I think, which is a little bit cheaper than this one. Obviously, you've got Jixa. I think that's just sort of coming into getting traction control and stuff like that. But Jix has got a big following. Um, and obviously got the Ducati. Um, I don't know what the equivalent is. Obviously one of the Panagales. But guys, if you can afford one of these, buy it. Simple as that. Okay. Obviously, you know, 198, 199 horsepower, it's just over 200 kilograms. You've got traction control, you've got electronic suspension, you've got Brembo ABS, which is a race ABS as well. Uh, you've got cruise control on a sports bike, heated grips, riding modes, uh, rain, sport and race. Um, I'm not going to tell you how it feels, guys, because with all that power and all that technology, I can probably use... 4% of that potential, you know. Um, but from a non-sports biker point of view, it's comfortable, okay? It's not cramped. Uh, the suspension isn't firm. Uh, I got on it a bit like, mm, you know, what? I don't know what this all, the whole sports bike thing is, other than the fact that they look wicked. You know, what's it all about? Obviously, they look wicked and they go fast. <laughs> You know, but they're not comfortable. I did a couple of hours on it yesterday. Absolutely fine. Um, yeah, absolutely fine. Um, you know, when all the media says that it is a good road bike, they they're not they're not lying, guys. It is. It's a good road bike. Um, obviously, the big thing now is is the Yamaha R1M, which I'm not I'm not interested in. You know, um, I know that's a down and out track bike um but guys this bike is is amazing um and I, I didn't i rode it the other day and i was like oh yeah it's, it's quick it's quick yeah fair enough it's quick and then i actually took it on a dual carriageway and just realized just how quick it is And how solid it feels as well. It's uh, it's unbelievable. It's, <laughs> you know, it's... It is. I don't know what else to say, really. 
you've got a gear shift assist pro so you can change up and down the gearbox without the clutch and that thing's just <laughs> it just makes the bike it doesn't waste any time getting to where it needs to get if you could afford any other bike the thing is I can't really say this is the bike to go for because I've not ridden any of the others I've not ridden the Jixxer, I've not ridden the Honda I've not ridden the Kawasaki I just know that like this it's got everything you want everything you need and it's it's just wicked I mean the standard exhaust sounds good um, what else is there to say really yeah it's comfortable it looks awesome just a wicked bike guys this bike is probably one of the most famous sports bikes now I think but I think because of the price it's not the most popular yeah guys I, what else is there to say about its chain drive you know uh, it's just epic it's just epic guys Guys, to say that I'm frightened of this bike would be a lie. I'm not frightened of it, but the acceleration I could probably only use at half. I could never twist this throttle fully. The important thing about this bike is it's got cruise control. So, whoop. There we go, look. I can cruise at 64 miles an hour. Oh, this machine is epic. I kind of understand why some people put up with the uncomfortableness. And by that I mean the uncomfortableness of sports bikes, because this isn't uncomfortable. But with the amount of power you get from these bikes, I can understand why people put up with it. So guys, I know it's been a short video. Um, I didn't really want to do the whole, you know, review thing because, hey, you just get, you know, you just get too much. Everyone on the internet is a keyboard warrior and thinks they're Valentino Rossi. So I didn't really want to do a full review, but it is an awesome bike. Uh, so yeah, just check the bike out and I'll see you on the next video. Today you should buy this bike. Cycle Cruiser should buy this bike because when he does his moto vlogs, He's constantly using his throttle hand and he's having to do this and then elaborate in his hands to make his in videos interesting not interesting but to elaborate so if he had cruise control if he had cruise control he wouldn't have to would he he could just keep it on cruise control and then like do this he'd never give up his hondas though not for a bmw anyway